this exciting video, we bring you the latest updates from the world of SpaceX. Get ready for a thrilling ride as we discuss the recent movement of Booster 10 for IFT-3 and the unfortunate delay of Falcon Heavy. If you're a fan of space exploration and SpaceX, this video is a must-watch for you. Join us now and stay informed with the latest news and entertainment. It's been several weeks since SpaceX triumphed in the second integrated flight test and the focus is now on gearing up for the next momentous Starship launch. However, before Starship was born, the world only paid attention to one monster that shook the space industry nearly five years ago, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. And in just a few days, we will witness another spectacular performance from it, marking the fifth and final launch of 2023. But what's particularly noteworthy here is that this launch is the first time Falcon Heavy undertakes a crucial mission with the payload being the U.S. military's X-37B spaceplane carrying numerous classified experiments and other essential tests. For NASA To find out why Watch now for an out-of-this-world experience Watch till the end stay tuned as we dive into this episode Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel St The recent announcement from NASA has injected fresh excitement into the upcoming flight with all eyes on Booster 10 and Ship 28 The Ship 28 is presently undergoing Final Thermal Protection System, or TPS, work in the high bay Once this is completed Hopper will greenlight its transit to the launch site. Upon arrival, Ship 28 will be prepared for static fire testing after a necessary six-engine spin prime. In contrast, the journey for Booster 10 has been more complex. After the installation of its hot staging ring on Monday, the booster has become the reigning monarch at Starbase. Following successful securing to the new booster transport stand, it gracefully made its way to Massey's for extensive ground tests. Earlier, the Super Heavy prototype underwent a partial cryogenic proof test, likely loaded with around a thousand tons of liquid nitrogen, simulating the behavior of propellant under extreme conditions. The upcoming crucial tests for Booster 10 are slated to take place once it is mounted on the orbital launch mount. Presently, repair work is underway for the OLM, involving the replacement of all 20 hold-down clamps, a necessary task post the last two launches. This maintenance is crucial for the launch mount's operational efficiency, ensuring it performs optimally during critical phases of the launch. Expectations are that Ship 28 will head to the launch site ahead of the booster. Additionally, the Mechazilla chopsticks, pivotal components of the orbital launch tower, have resumed their movement, gearing up for pre-launch testing for the third integrated flight test, or IFT-3. Elon Musk, SpaceX's visionary CEO had mentioned on November 19th the readiness of hardware for the next Starship Super Heavy test in three to four weeks. While this timeline might appear uncertain given the absence of rocket parts at the launch pad for pre-flight tests, a realistic expectation points towards a test flight in early 2024. Factors influencing the Starship launch schedule encompass fine-tuning and resolution of issues from the previous test flight, alongside securing a new launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA for short. SpaceX's sights also seem set on an early 2024 third test flight, as indicated by the company's submission to the Federal Communications Commission or the FCC. The mission aims to circumnavigate the world and conclude with a splashdown near Hawaii. Building upon achievements and enhancements from previous flights, expectations are high that the next Starship launch will surpass its predecessors in innovation and complexity. Jumping ahead to another impressive SpaceX creation, the Falcon Heavy is making its way back to the hangar following its static fire test this past Sunday. SpaceX hasn't officially confirmed the test's outcome, but several sources indicate a rescheduled launch for Monday, December 11. Although the specific launch time remains unannounced, it appears SpaceX delayed the launch for more thorough preparation. Excitingly, SpaceX aims to introduce the Falcon Heavy rocket to the West Coast. Nate Jansen, manager of Launchpad Systems and Operations for SpaceX at Vandenberg, highlighted these plans during the 10th Annual Celebration and Future Forum for the Economic Alliance Foundation, or Econ Alliance, at the Santa Maria Country Club. Jansen expressed the significant growth of Vandenberg's launch activity, escalating from a single launch four years ago to an anticipated 30 by year's end. Projecting an exponential rise, SpaceX eyes around 50 launches in 2024, potentially reaching a staggering 100 launches in 2025. He revealed plans for launching approximately once a week next year with the goal of launching every three to four days within the next two years. Jansen attributed this surge in launches to SpaceX's commitment to reusability, significantly reducing turnaround time, 
and the cost of deploying payloads into space. SpaceX's strategy involves recycling the first stage booster and clamshell payload fairings for multiple missions, a practice that contributes to cost efficiency and streamlined mission schedules. Initially designed to handle 10 launches, the Falcon 9 rocket boosters underwent subsequent modifications to extend their capabilities to 15 launches. Over time, these boosters have earned certification for up to 20 launches, a capacity that may even be surpassed. Remarkably, the first stage booster utilized in last Friday's mission from Vandenberg reached its 17th liftoff, demonstrating remarkable performance and reusability. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to reassess and conduct thorough analyses, aiming to certify the first stage boosters for an impressive 25 to 30 flights by next year. This commitment to reusability aligns with SpaceX's strategy, significantly reducing costs and turnaround time for subsequent missions. Earlier this year, SpaceX made headlines by securing a lease for Space Launch Complex 6, marking its second launch facility on the West Coast. While previous missions were conducted at Space Launch Complex 4, this additional site originally constructed for the manned orbiting laboratory and later repurposed for the West. Coast Space Shuttle, both programs canceled before liftoff, was recently vacated by United Launch Alliance's Delta IV rocket. As Falcon 9 is approaching its 90th launch in the last month of the year, aiming to achieve the goal of 100 launches in 2023, its sibling, Falcon Heavy, is also gearing up to contribute with a launch scheduled for this week. The Falcon Heavy launch, sponsored by the Department of Defense and named USS F-52, is expected to take place on December 11, according to the latest announcement after two. Scheduled delays initially planned for December 7, and then December 10. Shifting launch schedules and availability at Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A, were cited for the date change according to a space for a statement. This has no impact on the mission's performance. The X-37B will be launched on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida with an unspecified launch window. However, these details will be announced as the launch date approaches. We partner closely with our launch service providers and the entire team is focused on executing a successful mission, said Brigadier General Kristen Pazenigan of Space Launch Delta 45 in a Space Systems Command email. This reflects the absolute trust of the U.S. military in entrusting the mission to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. On the other hand, Dr. Walt Lauderdale, Mission Director and Lead for Falcon Systems and Operations at SSC, expressed gratitude for cooperation with government agencies. We benefit greatly from our partnerships with other government agencies and from commercially derived developments. To be honest, this is not only an extremely important launch, but it also has great significance for Falcon Heavy. It marks the first time the Falcon Heavy rocket will carry out a mission for the U.S. military's classified X-37B spaceplane project. This will be the eighth Falcon Heavy launch to date and the seventh mission for the X-37B orbital test vehicle. Meanwhile, five of X-37B's six previous launches were carried out using ULA Atlas V rockets, the single remainder flew on a Falcon 9. If everything goes smoothly, Falcon Heavy might be enlisted for larger military missions in the coming year. We will see it appear regularly in the sky. To prepare for this important mission, a static fire test of Falcon Heavy's 27 Merlin engines took place last Sunday, a week before the scheduled launch of the national security mission planned. For half a decade. During the riveting 12 second static fire on December 3, the Falcon Heavy, the pinnacle of commercial rocketry, roared to life, its first stage Merlin 1D engines aflame, likely generating a colossal 2,350 pounds of thrust. With this fiery test, the fifth launch of Falcon Heavy in 2023 is imminent. However, there's much more to come before its grand departure, a return to the LC 39A aircraft hangar awaits where the shield will be installed before another splendid comeback to the launch pad, a truly impressive performance. Falcon Heavy, which combines three Falcon 9 boosters for the rocket's first stage, can carry heavier payloads into higher orbits. Then both Atlas V and Falcon 9 will possibly be launching X-37 be farther into space than it has ever flown. While the spacecraft's operational capabilities remain cloaked in secrecy, the objectives for USS F-52 appear ambitious. The Space Force's release hinted at X-37B venturing into new orbital regimes. In addition, another notable feature that we can see is that this time X-37 also has the logo of the Space Force for the first time. 
This is an affirmation of the U.S. military for X-37, a brainshot created by NASA. The X-37 began development as a NASA program back in 1999. Boeing was contracted to build a vehicle to demonstrate new reusability technologies. The space shuttle would have deployed the space plane which was made to fit in the cargo bay. The program was eventually transferred to DARPA, a total secrecy descended upon it. Two vehicles were built and the first flight took place in 2010. So far, six flights have taken place. Its sixth flight, known as OTV-6, set a record of 908 days and 21 hours in space before returning to Earth on November 12, 2022. The X-37B, a compact powerhouse in space exploration, boasts a design that is a mere quarter of the size of the iconic space shuttle. Taking off vertically, hitching a ride on a rocket, this space plane is a marvel in launch engineering. Operating at altitudes ranging from 110 to 500 miles, the X-37B dances through the heavens with precision. It gracefully maneuvers a lower Earth orbit, cruising at altitudes between 150 to 500 miles above our blue planet. Veiled in secrecy, the X-37B embarks on covert missions, and its purposes are not fully disclosed. A testament to technological prowess, this enigmatic spacecraft comes with a price tag of 192 million US dollars, a modest sum for the marvels it achieves in its four year project span. Despite these impressive missions, the X 37 does not receive the same level of attention or coverage as other space events. The exact objectives of the X 37 missions remain classified, but there are speculations about its purpose. One of the more rumored tasks is the testing of various materials in outer space to develop more efficient spaceships in the future. The X 37B is also believed to be involved in testing next generation propulsion methods, as demonstrated by the deployment of the Falcon Sat 8 satellite during its sixth flight. There have been speculations about the X 37 being used for spying purposes, particularly in China. However, these claims have been denied by official sources. The X-37's ability to avoid detection and change its orbit quickly has fueled these speculations. Additionally, there have been suggestions of top-secret unregistered satellites being deployed by the X-37, although these claims have also been denied. The X-37 offers a unique platform for conducting experiments and tests in space. With its unmanned nature, it allows for riskier experiments that may not be feasible with human presence on the ISS. While the exact methods and results of the experiments conducted on the X-37 remain classified, they provide the United States with valuable data and insights about the space environment. DARPA, the organization behind the X-37, is known for its secretive operations and development of game-changing technologies. It has a history of undisclosed projects, some of which have yielded significant results. While DARPA remains a covert arm of the U.S. government, other countries, including Russia, China, and the UK, allegedly employ similar secretive organizations. The X-37B missions have largely gone unnoticed by the public, despite their potential significance. DARPA's ability to operate behind the scenes and gather valuable information is notable. While NASA and the Space Force often dominate headlines, DARPA plays a crucial role in providing data and supporting frontline space activities. The project continues to operate with a vague trajectory and distant goals that are known only to a select few. In general, the X-37 remains a highly secretive and innovative space plane operated by DARPA. Its missions remain classified, but it's almost certain the X-37 is involved in testing materials, propulsion methods, and potentially conducting surveillance. DARPA's covert operations and cutting-edge technologies make it a crucial player in the space industry, as well as national security. Of course, that also depends on the means to support the mission of sending spacecraft into space, which are heavy rockets. Perhaps in 2024, 2025, 2026, and beyond, the U.S. military may continue to utilize Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy.